To keep track of the remaining members of North Clan, the scientists need to collar another high-ranking female. Teddy finds their target hyena cooling off. To collar this wild female, they'll need to dart her. Dan gets the veterinarian in position for a shot. They circle the hyena first, so she gets used to their presence. Bullseye. The drug quickly takes effect. While working on the sedated animal, there's little risk from the rest of the clan. And there are no lions here. All attention is focused on getting the job done as quickly and with as little discomfort to the animal as possible. They cover the hyena's eyes to protect them from dust and sunlight. Whilst unconscious, carnivores can't control their own temperature well. So the team must carefully monitor the hyena's vital signs and keep her cool. Fitting the collar requires a lot of careful adjustment. It must allow room for the hyena to grow, but not be so loose that it might get snagged. They take full advantage of the rare chance to check on the hyena's health and gather more data. Analysis of the DNA will tell them about interrelationships in the clan. Height, length and teeth help age the animal and provide a profile of this member of the Lua population. They secure the collar. Dr. Banda injects the drug to revive the hyena and everyone quietly retreats to allow her a calm recovery. Fifteen minutes later, the hyena comes round. She's groggy, but she'll sleep off any after effects before joining tonight's hunt.